Welcome to part 2 of chapter 7 in CG Dive's Rigify course for Blender 4. So we have our own custom rig, we have a nice menu to hide and unhide parts of the rig. And now to really polish this rig, we want to give these rig controls colors. And if you watched chapter 2, you should know how bone colors work in Blender 4. But a quick refresher, you can go to your bone tab, viewport display, and apply a pose bone color, for example, red. Okay, this is a standard Blender feature, but Rigify has automations on top of that. And with Rigify, we have to do it through the meta rig, because otherwise, if I regenerate this rig and go to pose mode, this red color that I applied a second ago will be gone. By the way, you can also watch this course on academy.cgdive.com. Until around the end of January 2024, the course is in early access, so you will have to pay a modest fee for it, or you can also subscribe to the entire site, which is also very affordable right now, and that way you can gain access to all of my courses. But from February 2024, the Rigify Fundamentals course will be free on Academy, so I highly recommend that you watch it there for the best viewing experience without ads and distractions. So let's go to the meta rig. And above Bone Collection UI, you'll see color sets. And here we can define the colors that we want to use for our rig. I'll show you two approaches. One is more in line with the default Rigify approach, and the other one will be more customized. To add colors that are exactly the same as in the pre built meta rigs that we get with Rigify, you can click the Add Standard button, and that will add these six colors. Once we have the colors, we can go again to the Bone Collection UI and start applying these colors to the collections. The way it works is you highlight the collection that you want to work with, scroll down to Color Set, and from this menu, choose one of the color sets. These are the exact same entries that we have here under Color Set. So the spine collection holds the main spine controls, and I think in Rigify they have the special color, so yellow. I'll search for spine here, and then find my spine FK. And it makes sense to give them the FK colors, but I think in default Rigify, the spine FK uses the tweak colors, so blue. Then I'll search for tweak, and find my tweaks collection and give them the tweak color. And so the process is to go over all of these collections and give them a color set. So left arm is really the IK controls because FK and tweaks are assigned to other collections. So here for left arm, I'll choose IK. And actually in the menu, I can change this button name to left arm IK because that is what it actually contains. Then for the left arm FK, obviously we'll choose FK. For the palm, let's choose the special color. Fingers are generally FK. So I'll give them the FK color. But actually, let's go to pose mode and check the finger rig type. And it has a tweak collection, which I hadn't assigned. So let's press the plus button and give it the tweaks collection. And to assign it to the rest of the fingers, I can select the remaining four and then shift select this one where I change the collection and go to rigify, copy only parameters. And now all of my fingers will be assigned this way. I can also enable IK controls, and that will make it possible to assign an additional IK collection. I will disable this in this case. That is just for your information. To the head, I'll assign the special colors. There are no hard rules. I'm just trying to use the exact colors that are used in default Rigify. I'll make the ears FK, tentacle, it is IK by default, so I'll give it the IK color, left shoulder, special, 
right shoulder special. The tail is FK. Left leg contains the main controls, which are the IK. So I'll give it the IK color set and same on the right leg. And I can also name these, name the buttons to be even more clear. Then for the root, we have a special root color set. Leg FK will be FK. Tentacle FK, I'll assign FK colors. And DEF can stay without colors. Let's generate and see what we get. Go to pose mode. And now our rig has colors. Some of them seem off. For example, the finger controls are definitely not green in the default rigs, but you can easily tweak that in the meta rig. What bothers me more is that I definitely assign the yellow color to the shoulder and to the palm control, but now they are red, just like the IK controls. So let's go back to the meta rig and see how we can fix this. As you probably remember, we place the shoulder bone and the palm bones on the same collection as the arm bones, while also keeping them on their own collections. So the way it works with colors is that Rigify looks at the order of the collections. So for example, for the left shoulder, I'll select the left shoulder collection. And this bone is on the left shoulder collection, left arm collection, which is the IK and also on left arm FK collection. So if a bone is on multiple collections and all of them have a color applied, the bone will take the color of the top collection in the list. Therefore, to make sure that the shoulder will be yellow, I have to move it above all other collections that it is assigned to. And let's do the same for the palm. I'll move it above the arm and generate. And now my shoulder is yellow and my palm control is also yellow. Let's go back and fix this the same way for the right shoulder. Right shoulder is below right tentacle and that is why it takes the color of right tentacle. So let's just move it above and generate. And now the shoulder has its own color and the tentacle has a different color. I stopped for a second to check how the fingers work. And here's what I found out. Even though the fingers have an additional tweak layer, really it is these straight FK controls. It is not the same tweak controls as for the arm, tail and so on. So let's go back to the meta rig. And I'll create a new collection and call it fingers, let's call it fingers FK. I'll go to the Rigify options and set this tweak collection to the fingers FK and then select all other fingers, the first fingers in the chain and then shift select this one which we set up and go to Rigify copy only parameters. Now everything should be set up correctly. Let's go back to our bone collection UI, find the fingers FK collection, and I'll place it here next to left fingers. Then I'll assign a color set to the fingers FK, and that will be the FK color set. And for the main finger collection, left fingers, I will assign the extra colors because this is how it is done in the pre-built meta rig. Let's try to generate now. And yeah, this looks exactly as in the pre-built meta rigs. We have the green FK controls and these special orange controls which control the whole finger by rotating and scaling the widget. 
And now I have this new fingers FK button, which allows me to hide the FK fingers. I'll go back to the meta rig just for one minor tweak, and that is to add a space between the words here. Generate, and it's done. Okay, this is looking lovely. And I think with this knowledge, you should be able to create any colors you want. You can organize them exactly as you want. You can have bones on multiple layers, but still have fine control over the colors of specific bones. Now, as further practice, we'll create an alternative color coding of this rig. The default Rigify color scheme is based on functionality. So FK controls have one color, IK controls have a different color and tweaks have a different color and so on. There is another approach that is very popular among professional animators, and that is to color code the left side, the right side and the center of the rig. So let's try to implement it. I will go back to my meta rig and delete all of these default colors. And then I'll start adding my own. So I'll press the plus button and then set this color to, let's say, red. Then double click the name and let's name it left. Create another color set, name it right and give it a blue color. Then one more, call it center and I'll personally make it yellow. And I may decide to add more colors later, but this is a good start. But while we are here, let's explore this area a little bit more. At the top, we have these two colors, which we can change. And if you're using the default Blender theme, you should keep them exactly as they are. Do not touch them. But they allow you to change the selected and active color for all bones, regardless of their main color. In other words, Bones will have a special color when they are not selected, such as red, blue and yellow, but regardless of their main color, they will have this light blue color when they are selected and this very light blue, almost white color when they are active. So I recommend leaving this to default, but if you want to, you can change these colors. This button here, I also suggest that you leave it as it is. This will ensure that all bone groups have the same selected and active color. If you disable it, you can then set individual selection and active colors for each group. So for example, the left group can be red, light red as selected, and very pale pink when active. And some people actually like this, but I do not recommend this. It can get very confusing when your colors are all over the place. So activate this button and then press apply and that will unify your selected and active colors. And here we have an option to add a new entry from a theme and the theme in the menu do not show the colors, which makes them hard to use. So I never use them. I just add a new group and then give it a custom color. Okay, with this out of the way, Let's go to the Bone Collection UI and set our colors. So again, the philosophy now is that if something is in the center, we'll give it the center color set. If it's on the right, we'll give it the right set and left, left set. The spine is in the center, so we'll set it to center. Left shoulder on the left, so set it to left color set. Left palm on the left. I think the idea is simple to follow. So I'll just set up the remaining collections. Now I skipped over the root and the tweaks. I guess we can give them special colors. So this will be my root. And I'll give it some sort of a pinkish color. And set it in here. And then for the tweaks, I can set, let's say, a green color, just because it is quite different from the other ones. And let's generate. Go to pose mode. 
I'll hide the tweaks. And we have red controls on the left side, blue on the right side, and yellow in the center. And this makes a lot of sense, it is very easy to read, and also, when I'm working in IK mode, I can hide the FK controls, they don't need to be visible. Right? So, color coding based on function is not that useful, because we can hide the controls based on function. But either way, I'm not saying that one is correct and the other one is not. The best approach is to think for yourself and figure out what makes sense to you. And if you're working with a client, or maybe you're making this rig for someone else who will animate it, then you can ask them for feedback, and maybe they'll say, you know, I like this left and right split of the rig colors, but I want the FK controls to be a slightly different shade of red. And I think if you follow along, you should be able to do that. You may have started this course as a beginner, but now you have this crazy customized Rigify rig that you made from scratch, so I hope your confidence is growing and you'll keep learning about Rigify and rigging and improving your skills. If you have any ideas for bonus chapters, you can let me know. I cannot promise to make them, but I'll consider them. Sometimes people suggest things that are a bit too complex, so they can become separate tutorials or even advanced courses. And actually, I already have an idea for a bonus chapter, which I'll start recording right away. I think we came a long way in customizing this rig, but still a missing piece of the puzzle is changing the control shapes, which is really easy. Um, it will be a short chapter. But you know, maybe you want this neck control to be a little bit smaller. Maybe you want these shoulders to poke a little bit more out of the shoulder and so on. So I'll show you how to do it in the next bonus chapter. This and a couple of other bonus chapters are available on academy.cgdive.com. As you're watching this video, the Rigify Fundamentals in Blender 4 course, including the bonuses, should be accessible for free on Academy. So just go to academy.cgdive.com, Courses, go to the Rigify Fundamentals course, and enroll for free to get full access. There are other advanced paid courses on the site, which you can buy individually by clicking on the PayPal button, and by the way, this will also allow you to pay with a debit card or credit card, or you can get a subscription to the whole site, and this will give you access to all content on the site without exception. Currently, you can subscribe for $5.99 a month or $59.99 per year, and these prices will go up as I add more content, but if you subscribe now, you can keep this price for as long as you're subscribed.